Hi guys, happy Baby Name Monday. My name is SJ. I am a baby name enthusiast who makes baby name videos on YouTube. That's really weird, isn't it, when you say it like that? <laughs> so last week I did a baby name video all about the fastest rising girl names outside of the top 100 here in the UK based on the brand new data we have from the Office of National Statistics. This week it's the boy version and oh my god these two name lists are like my favourite. I've been doing baby name Mondays for a year. The playlist is linked below. If you like this video binge watch all the rest but don't forget to hit subscribe if the subscribe button is red you're not subscribed and it just makes a massive difference to me so I'm going to crack on with the list it's the top 15 I'm going in order of how far they have risen so the highest one that I have found rising is at 1267 places mental okay so you're going to love all these names they're gorgeous so up 19 places is the name Hudson and it's now at number 154. So I've mentioned Hudson in baby name videos when it's like a surname as first name, even a nature name I put Hudson on there because of the Hudson River in New York, which I know is a stretch, but I love this name. It's actually an Anglo-Scottish surname and it comes from medieval word, which I'm not gonna pronounce right, Huda or something, which actually meant to hug. So how lovely is that? I love the name Hudson. I had one boyfriend before I met my husband and his last name was Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't have it, could I? But um, yeah, it's a gorgeous name. What do you think of Hudson? Quite similar to that name, but I wanted to put it on there, is the name Lincoln. So these sort of surname as first name names are so popular and I can't wait for you to hear how many of these names are from one nationality. Um, this is actually an English name. It's up 22 places and it's just outside the top 100, 106. I put it on, I've never heard Lincoln. I've never heard it. Um, in my local area. I've not been reading about it much, but it's obviously become really popular. It's a bit of a place name. There's obviously Abraham Lincoln as well. It means lakeside colony, which I think is gorgeous. So yeah, Lincoln, a great one. The next is the name Chester. So another English place name, isn't it? Isn't that funny? And this has gone up 30 places. It's still at number 195, so it's not hugely popular. I've always really liked the name Chester. It's a great alternative to Charlie. If you love the name Charlie and someone's nabbed it, or you think it's just too popular it's beautiful kind of gentle and outdoorsy and quite rugged to me what do you think it actually means fort which is quite nice f-o-r-t as in like a fort a place so yeah it's a lovely one isn't it the next name is at 41 places and that is the french name remy so i think in france you may pronounce this differently let me know in the comments if you're french or you speak french i think they say more remy which sounds nice, like do re me. <laughs> um, sorry, I left out of music as well. I'm really selling myself as a cool person <laughs> in this video. But Remy is a Disney name. Do you have a little rat and ratatouille? As I mentioned it in my Disney name videos. But I know two Remys and they're both very cool mums. And I just think it's soft and gentle and different, isn't it? But not hard to pronounce and say. So it's gone at 41 places and it's actually at number 501. But... The year before, it was only at number 807, so it's literally, if you look at the trajectory, it's gone like whoop. So if it carries on in this, it's going to be right there in the top 100 potentially next year. So get in there early with Remy. An alternative to names like Jacob and Noah that's really getting popular is the name Josiah. Do you like Josiah? I think it is really lovely. I love the J, I love the S. It's at 43 places. It's still only at number 237. So still out there and not too, too popular. It means Jehovah has healed. But I think if you love those types of names, even Ezra was so popular, wasn't it? Um, Josiah is a great alternative. One of my guilty pleasure names is next and it's the name Percy. I love the name Percy. I thought about this if my daughter, my third baby had been a boy. My husband was like, nope. <laughs> but it is one of those really, Really cool vintage ones and I do know a Percy here in London it's actually also it's like Jackie Collins husband's Percy when you hear her say it just sounds really cool I think um it's at 47 places and it's now at 439 and it's a nature name it means pierces the valley but Percy to me is just one of those really quirky vintage names that's definitely overdue a comeback and I think I would really give lots of compliments if I heard little Percy I think like Henry it's just cute isn't it but goes really well for a cool teenager and then an older guy. The next name is a German name and it is the name Lenny. So again, I was quite surprised by this. I love it. I always think of, of Mice and Men because I studied that in school. But Lenny actually means Lion Bold. How cool is that? And German names are so popular. There are so many German names. You guys have been asking me to do a German baby name list so you know about this trend much more than me. But it's at 
number 158 now, so if it keeps going up the way it has been, it will be hitting the top 100 soon. And it's a lovely one, isn't it? So I think, again, it's a bit like Percy, the same reasons I like it. Soft, gentle, different, a bit like Henry, but more exciting, and it's just a cute one. Another guilty pleasure name of mine, this is the German name Wilbur, and I've mentioned this because we loved it. We liked Wilfred, which is already in the top 100, but we already have a Freddy, and Wilbur, just slightly different, isn't it? It's so cute. It means resolute or brilliant, and yes, it's a Germanic name again. I mentioned this before, and lots of you guys talked about Charlotte's Web, which wasn't a book I loved when I was younger for some unknown reason, um, but yes, a lot of you get the Charlotte's Web Association. Wilbur Wright was one of the Wright brothers who invented the aeroplane, which is cool. So it's at 49 places, and it sits at number 522 now. The next name is the name Tudor. Have you heard the name Tudor? I know a Tudor, so, and I've always really liked his name, but it's quite unusual, isn't it? But it's fast rising. It's gone at 59 places in one year, which is quite crazy. Now it's at number 673. It's Welsh, and Welsh names are also really on the rise. Welsh, it's also Greek, which means gracious gift in Greek, but there's a Welsh forename called Tudor, but spelt differently, and apparently it's a variation of Theodore, which is one of our most popular names already in the top 100, and one of the most Googled names of the year, actually. So yes, Tudor. Like, we have names like Saxon, don't we, Norman? <laughs> but yeah, Tudor, I really like it, maybe because I know a Tudor, um, uh, and it's always seemed to me like a really cool name. Freddie's actually studying Tudors at the moment. The next name is Enzo. I love names ending in O, Hugo, Ludo, all of those, and Enzo is one of the fastest rising ones at the moment. It's gone up 68 places, and it's 207 at the moment, so next year it will probably be like at 150 or something if it keeps going up in popularity. It's a Italian form of Henry, so it means winner. It's just a lovely one, very unusual, got the Z, really cool, really funky, and don't ha doesn't feel too Italian that you would sound odd having it, but I think it's a really lovely one. The next one surprised me as well, and that's the name Hendrix. My husband's called Henrik, and he always gets called Hendrix, which always cracks me up, because to me it's a real rock and roll cool name, isn't it, with the X, and yeah. You're very rock and roll and cool, honey, don't worry. <laughs> it's at 64 places to 429, and it's Germanic for Henry, and means rules the home. So yeah, I thought I'd pop it in there because it's a cool one, isn't it? The next step, we talked about space names being really popular as a huge trend, and it's come true. So Orion is one of the most fastest rising names of last year, and it's at 83 places. It's just inside the top 500 at 493. I love it, there's a couple of these types of names, very spiritual, it means rising in the sky. Um, Orion was a mighty hunter, and he is a, it's a star constellation as well, obviously we know all that, the way that mythology works in the stars, and it just sounds like a strong name, it's an O name, isn't it? Like an Oscar, Oliver, Orion, sounds great, and I think you would always get compliments on it. Another German name was really popular, the name Herbie. It's up 114 places to number 719, so all these now have risen over 100 spots, which is crazy. It means illustrious warrior. I've always loved the name Herbie, um, and Freddie has a real little friend called Herbie. So Herbie is just a really cool name. It's a bit like a Freddie, isn't it? Those IE ending such strong names, but being a bit more quirky and out there with the name Herbie. Gideon is up an amazing 175 four places and the year before it was up loads as well so it's a really fast rising one it's now at number 644 so it could be in the top 500 so get in there quick with Gideon if you like it to me it's a really cool name it just the sound of it's so unusual it's quite different isn't it in terms of the sound of it but it's like phonetic you can spell it easily which I always think is important when you're thinking about a more quirky name it's a Hebrew name it means destroyer um, and Gideon was a hero and judge in the Old Testament so I did mention this previously and yeah it has gone up so I wonder if I'm influencing these name lists a little bit Another Hebrew name, Isaiah. So we talked about Josiah earlier on, and Isaiah is another one that's going up. So I thought I would mention it because it's up 209 places, which is loads, absolutely loads. It's still outside the top 1,000, though. It's at 1,289. But I really like it. There are four prophets in the Old Testament called Isaiah. And again, it just sounds different, doesn't it? And it's a beautiful one. Atlas is a gorgeous name. We've definitely talked about this one before. I think it just sounds adventurous, doesn't it? And it's just an absolutely beautiful name, and it's everyone agrees. It's up 346 places this year, so it's at number 600 now, from number 946. That makes a massive difference in terms of how popular it is, doesn't it? And Atlas means to carry. He was a titan, you know, he's always depicted carrying the world on his shoulders. I think his role was to keep the mortal world away from 
the gods world and it was like a punishment I talked about it a lot in another video um I just love the name to me it just sounds traveling and outdoorsy and worldly doesn't it of course um so yeah what do you think of the name atlas is it still out there or do you think it's becoming more mainstream so i did a video at the end of last year which was about the most googled baby names of 2017 and silas was on there and it's come out now as a really fast rising name isn't it unusual by absolutely love it and it means of the forest so it is a nature name as well but it's at 410 places in one year so it's now only number 861 but yes yeah, stonking up the charts it's a biblical name but it's from the old word like sylvanus which meant from the forest so it's made me thinking of sylvanian families if you like sylvanian families call him silas but i really like it it's just so unique and i love the ss ending beginning ending never double s name is next cassian this is a really unusual name. It's at 665 places, so it's in the top 1,000 now, from number 1,498 to 833. So if it continues on that trajectory, but it's lovely, isn't it, Cassian? Really unusual, I love the double S's. It means hollow, which isn't the most exciting meaning, but it's a saint name as well. And <laughs> Cassian was the patron saint of, I'm not gonna imagine, stenographers. So stenographers, you know, like in the court, where the people who have to translate what people are saying into shorthand, how crazy is that? Griffin is a name I've talked about on this channel because I love it and it's gone up 736 places. It's got quite a Harry Potter feel to it because a griffin is, you know, it's got a face and wings of an eagle but the body of a lion and it protects Dumbledore's office. So it's really, really cool but I just like it and the name Griff is the nickname just by itself has gone up as well. Griffin's actually more unusual. It's Welsh again, and it means strong in faith, and now it is at number 968, so just inside the top 1,000. And the name that has gone up the most places, at 1,267 places, is the name Merlin. <laughs> it's Welsh, let it sink in. I've been thinking about this name for a while now because I don't know if you watch a programme called First Date, it's an English programme, and the bartender's called Merlin, he's actually called Merlin Griffiths, so he's very Welsh, and it just suits him, and it's just a beautiful name. I have my favourite Disney film is Sword in the Stone, obviously with little Merlin in it, it's an Arthur's legend, there's a lot of these brand new blockbusters coming out around Arthur's scene, so I think that Merlin may continue on this really fast trajectory. It gets a lot of hate on Fabian name forums, let me tell you, a couple of people being like, I like the name Merlin, and people are like, no, don't do it. I think it's cool. I think if you were daring enough, it's a great name and why not? It means sea hill. So it's again like a sort of a Welsh name put together from those. But yeah, so what do you think of the name Merlin? Is it crazy? But it's up there. It's gonna be in the playground soon. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that baby name video. As I said, don't forget to hit subscribe to watch every single baby name video or just get a notification when you log on to YouTube. If you are, sus are? If you are subscribed, please send this to a friend and I'll send a subscribe as well. And yes, I will see you all next Monday or Wednesday, Friday, I also do parenting videos. Bye guys.